Alright, this video is going to be a movie commentary. And I'm going to speak about this movie and I'm going to talk about everything, including what happens in the end. So, if you have not seen this movie and you plan to watch this movie, then maybe you should not listen to this video because I'm going to ruin everything for you. But if you've seen this movie and you want to listen to my commentary, then that's great. Alright. The movie is called Black Swan. It's a new release. And I wanted to make a movie commentary on it because this movie is a great movie. And I highly recommend the movie. And they don't make great movies that often. So I thought I thought that it'd be a need for me to, you know, basically put my recommendation out there and also to analyze the movie and basically explain what I felt, you know, what I learned from it and what I think others can benefit from it as well, you know. This movie is the same director as the person who um, directed Requiem, or Requiem for a Dream or something like that. And it's a deeply meaningful movie. Some people may say, may think that it's depressing, but I don't see it that way. I see it as very educational and entertaining at the same time. I see that it points to the reality of what really goes on behind the scenes of any type of entertainment industry or you know things of that nature. All right, the movie is basically about a ballet dancer who's striving for fame, striving for money, striving to be, you know, one of the best, which is common in everything that we do in Western society and probably even Eastern society, so probably most of this world. So it's, she's striving to be number one and they would say that the number one ballet dancer would be picked at, you know, as the black swan dancer. All right, so she's like striving towards that. And she's basically trying to be perfect, trying to do everything perfect. So you see throughout the movie, she gets extremely stressed out to the point where it really affects her like physically, emotionally, mentally, like everything. Spiritually, it just destroys her whole life. Like her striving towards this perfection in order to prepare for the big performance. And this is related to a lot of things in life that people strive towards. Um, even martial arts, Bruce Lee fell into this trap as well, you know, striving to be perfect all the time. You know, and he was a perfectionist. You know, everybody, anybody that studies him, they know that he was perfectionist. But going back to this movie, that's what she was doing. And you see, like, her her struggles, her pains. You know, ballet dancing, any type of dancing for that matter, is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be like an artistic expression of, of you know, creativity. And you're supposed to be happy and smiling when you do it because it's something you're supposed to enjoy. But you'll see in this movie, she doesn't smile at all. She's just like really sad the entire time that she's practicing and preparing for this performance. It's very, it's really sad when you see it. And she had to, because she was competing for that position, you see all the jealousy and all the hatred from all the other ballet dancers that didn't get the position. So she was alone in that respect. Nobody wanted to really talk to her. and befriend her or anything. She was just basically alone because everybody hated her. Everybody was jealous of her. And then you see how she was a woman and how these other women ballet dancers, there's the teacher that 
basically is the one that selects who is the star and who is the black swan. And basically these women would use sex as a way to get that position. And these women would throw themselves at the teacher and give the teacher sex. So, you know, increases their chances of getting fame, getting money, or whatever. And this, 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 um, the main actress in this movie, she wasn't interested in him, but he kept, the teacher kept pushing himself on her and basically almost trying to, um, get her to have sex with them. And she wasn't interested. But the movie really shows how, what people would do to get fame, what people would do to get money, you know. And it's sad how it affected her so deeply, where she just completely changed. And it showed, like, her, she was supposed to be playing two roles, like dancing as a white swan and then dancing as a black swan. And it shows the transformation of how she was, like, innocent, white swan, and then she turned into, like, a black, dark, and very um, greedy and... Um, devilish pretty much uh, black swan from how her striving towards fame and fortune like completely changed her to be a very negative um, individual a very uh, cold hearted and um, pretty much almost like violent individual and it's very sad when you see that transformation in the movie now, I see that the movie shows a lot about what happens behind the scenes. And even something as peaceful as ballet dancing ends up turning to be something very ugly. Something that you would think is supposed to create beauty for this world. In this movie, they show how it could create something horrible. Where everybody... Is not even dancing for fun anymore, but everybody's just dancing to compete with each other. Nobody's like wishing good for each other. Everybody's wishing bad for each other. And she was so skinny in the movie, but she had to, you know, keep getting skinnier because you know she needed to be lighter on her feet so she could dance on her toes. So she would like um, purposely vomit. You know, to to and not eat and not care about her health and her skin was deteriorating, you know, and you know her nails were falling off and she was bleeding everywhere. It was just um, you see how when you strive towards something and you don't care about your health, it, it just deteriorates your body to the point where it's. It's like you're killing yourself, you know, and, and you you don't even realize what you're doing. You know, I see a lot of similarities to a lot of the things that happen with, um, you know, act, actors, you know, real actors in real life. Whereas, for example, she got so, um, she got so consumed with that role of being the black swan that it just changed her completely and destroyed her, her health and her well-being. Now, another example that happened recently in real life is Heath Ledger, you know, the person that played in Batman, the latest one, Joker. He was playing in that role and basically immersing himself into that role, like psychologically, to be the Joker. And that really destroyed his personal life. He couldn't sleep, started taking drugs, you know, to help him sleep. And then he ended up um, dying from overdose or whatever. And it's very sad that when you you get so into something that it takes over your life like that. And I, I see that the same thing happened to Bruce Lee. You know, you know going to stardom, making the first international film, Enter the Dragon... It put a lot of pressure on him, you know, to, to, to do well, to be his best. And I knew he was a perfectionist, you know, and 
in that movie he was like his muscles are like as cut as you could get them and I know you know from my personal experiences is that in order to get your muscles that cut it's very unhealthy and I know that he probably dehydrated himself a lot and when you dehydrate yourself what ends up happening is you get you get um, headaches when you get headaches that's what happened he get, ended up getting a headache and he wanted to take medication ended up taking medication and said that he got an allergic reaction that's when he died so what I'm basically saying is that this, this movie Black Swan it very in a very artful way it shows the reality of what happens to a lot of these people who strive towards fame and fortune no matter if it's becoming um, a part of film and being an actor or actress or in this case a ballet dancer or in another case you know a marathon runner you know some of these marathon runners it's almost like every single year somebody dies from the marathon just running a marathon it's like pushing yourself too hard going beyond your physical limits and then dying you know and you know all these sport athletes these football players you know these um these MMA cage fighters I mean these people will do anything it takes to get fame to get fortune and they, they, they put their lives on the line. They don't care about their health. All they care about is that fame and fortune. This movie really shows that very well. You know, in the end, at the very end of the movie, I mean, I'm going to spoil it for everybody, but, you know, she, she ends up, like, um, killing herself. You know, she's having, she was having all these hallucinations, and, and basically, she thought that she was, like, killing somebody else and then she she thought she actually killed somebody else but then she actually killed herself she actually stabbed herself and the sad thing is in the movie she was happy that she killed somebody else but then when she found out that it wasn't that she didn't actually kill somebody else she actually killed herself she actually stabbed herself then she got sad you know then she got sad you know but when she knew that she killed somebody else she wasn't even sad and that just shows how people are just so cutthroat in what they do. It's like, they don't mind hurting other people as long as they get on top. But then she ended up you know, hurting herself. And that's what happens when you strive for this fame and this fortune and you totally are immersed in it. You end up killing yourself. You know, that, that movie is symbolizing that you're killing yourself spiritually. Not only spiritually, but you're killing yourself physically, mentally. You know, and... At the very end of the movie, she ends up dying. She ended up performing well and everybody, you know, getting all these round of applause. But then at the very end, she died and she said, you know, you know that she was perfect or whatever. And that's what happens, you know. And it's this movie really goes deep into it and shows the reality that, you know, that what we see in film... What we see in music, what we hear in the music, and the lives of these so-called celebrities is not all, like, positive. It's all, it's not all, like, you know, this is, like, the best thing ever. The reality of it is indicated in this movie. Why else do you see celebrities like Marilyn Monroe, you know, committing suicide? Celebrities like... Elvis Presley committing suicide. You know, even Tupac was saying how unhappy he was when when he was, you know, at the peak of his fame. You know, Bruce Lee was extremely stressed out. You know, when he started to get more fame. I mean, this stuff is not. This is some serious things that a lot of people have to really look at. You know, like the reality of it. And I think this movie very well you know, teaches you that, shows you the other side, like, hey, you know, it's not all perfect out there, you know, that, you know, just because these people are on stage or these people are in the movie doesn't mean that that lifestyle or that way is is necessarily, you know, the best way to find happiness in life, you know, and it, and it shows how something beautiful like ballet dancing was so peaceful can very easily be turned into something very ugly. So I highly recommend this movie. The movie's called Black Swan. You can go to fastpasstv.com to look for it.